Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm actually starting the vlog pretty late in the day. It is probably almost five o'clock now at this point. Um, it is a Friday. Harris is actually out of town today. He went up to Saratoga with some friends and he was meeting his sister and brother-in-law there to watch some horses race. And so I actually got this idea off of TikTok. I figured I would share with you guys what my closing shift looks like in the house. Kind of what my solo nighttime routine looks like when Harris is not in town and I have to do all the cleaning and everything for the bedtime routine all by myself. So I figured I would start the vlog off with that and show you guys how I clean up after a day with the kids. It's actually a really rainy day, so we've been stuck in the house all day. So I'll show you guys how I clean up the huge mess that we have going on in my house right now. How I clean up the kitchen, how I get them ready for bedtime, and how I close down my house at the end of the day. So for right now, the boys are finishing up their dinner. We picked up some Chipotle because Harris is not here and it's a Friday and I did not feel like cooking. So when they're done eating, I will probably start in the kitchen and then we'll make our way to the living room and clean this up. I'll show you guys what we're working with and then we'll head upstairs, um, make the boys bed, do bedtime routine and close down the house for the night. And then I will of course be continuing the vlog into tomorrow or I have something super fun planned. Dinner's done. So step one, I'm going to clean the kitchen. It's honestly really not that bad. I have like one thing in my sink. So I need to put all our dishes from dinner into the dishwasher, clean up all the garbage. I actually do need to take this garbage out because it is very full. So step one is going to be the kitchen. And then after this, we'll head into the living room. kitchen is like 95% clean. The last thing that I like to do in there is a vacuum, but I vacuum like all of this together at once. So we're actually going to tackle this mess of a living room first. And then when this is done, I will use my little vacuum that I got off of Amazon to hit this whole first floor. I also wiped on the counters, which I think I showed, but I did not start the dishwasher yet. I will do that at the very end of the night when the boys are done with their sippy cups. So now it's time for us to tackle this living room. Okay, the boys are finishing the last few things. I'm now going to take my little vacuum. This is from Green Notes. Um, I worked with them a while ago. I still have this linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested. Some days Harris does take our full Dyson vacuum and hit the entire downstairs, but most days of the week, I just wind up quickly hitting everything with this Green Notes um, cordless vacuum. So I'm gonna hit the carpet where we ate, anywhere where I see some crumbs. Yeah, you can bring that upstairs. Anywhere where I see some crumbs or feathers from my couch or pillows. Um, and then I'll also hit the kitchen. And then the downstairs will be like 90% done. The rest I finish after the boys are in bed.
started the next chore on our to-do list for nighttime whenever the boys bring all of their stuff down from upstairs to play with it throughout the day before bed obviously we need to bring everything in and remake their bed so they already started bringing things into their bedrooms i'm going to help them make their beds beds are made i think it's almost like six o'clock now so our last thing to do before the boys go to bed obviously i need to like brush their teeth um have them go to the bathroom and everything before i put them to bed but now we just go and relax in my room they'll have a cookie we'll watch some tv and then i will get them off to bed okay lighting's not the best in the bathroom the boys are eating their cookies now and i'm actually going to put some self tanner on for what i have planned tomorrow which you'll hear more about tomorrow but i wanted to quickly share with you guys today's video sponsor and today's video is sponsored by premium jean and i'm going to out myself a little bit right here i was actually feeling extremely frustrated with the boys before and kind of lost my cool we've been stuck in the house all day because it's been super rainy and we are just two weeks out from the school year starting and i've had the boys home with me all summer and so Towards the end of the night, I'm just so overstimulated and ready for bedtime, which I do get mom guilt about quite often because I feel like some days I'm really rushing through the day to get the boys off to bed because I just feel so anxious and overwhelmed with the duties of being a housewife and taking care of the boys. But one thing that helps both Harris and I unwind at the end of the night is our premium Jane CBD. So I featured Premium Jane's CBD many times here on my channel and I've actually talked to you guys about how Harris has totally been turned on to it and he actually uses it way more frequently than I do. He uses this CBD oil from Premium Jane. This is the 1000 milligram um, oil. He uses this every night to help him sleep. I more so use the CBD when I'm feeling extremely anxious or overstimulated or wound up and really need something to just help me calm down at the end of the night. So we both are CBD lovers. And if you guys are unfamiliar with who Premium Jean is, they're one of the leading CBD distributors in the United States. All of their hemp that they make their CBD with is locally sourced out of Kentucky, I think it is. Um, and I believe they're non-GMO. I think they're vegan. It's all lab tested. And every product that I've tried from them, which is quite a few different things. I've tried their oils, obviously. I've tried their gummies. I get to try their capsules. Um, I tried some of their different topicals that they have, and I've actually even given my mom's dog the CBD um, dog treats. So everything that I've tried from them, I speak very highly of. And like I said, I totally turned Harris onto this and he cannot live without this anymore. He thinks this has completely transformed his sleep. He actually has really bad restless legs. And this is one thing that helps him fall asleep and get a more sound sleep. So if you struggle with sleep or anxiety or just need something to take the edge off and really calm you down either at the end of the day or in high stress moments, I highly recommend you check out Premium Jane CBD. I have everything linked down below in the description box that you need to know. As well as a coupon code for you guys to get some money what off your premium Jane CBD order. But I'm going to go ahead and put my self tanner on. I'll get these boys off to bed and then we will finish out the last like two or three things that I do to close out the house at the end of the night. All right, boys are in bed. One of the last things I do is of course turn my dishwasher on so that all the dishes are clean for tomorrow. Oh, look at my feet. <laughs> and then I can unload it in the morning. And then the last thing that I like to do is take this Clorox disinfecting mist and I hit my countertops and then I also do the couch and the blankets and everything in the living room I'll show you guys because this can be used on a soft and hard surfaces so I just like leave it says to leave like a generous layer on the surfaces that you want disinfected so I just do like my counters sometimes I'll hit like the garbage can and then I do like all over the couch and hit like the pillows and the remotes and everything and then that's done so now i'm gonna get into bed and i will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning guys it is 7 50 in the morning i was supposed to get to sleep in today harris and i had been switching back and forth and he was not home last weekend so this weekend was going to be his weekend getting up with the boys but not only did Jack wake up at 4.50 this morning and get in our bed, which he fell back asleep, but I unfortunately didn't. And then Harris did take both the boys downstairs. Not only did that happen, but they're fighting a lot downstairs today. It is another rainy day. And so it looks like they're probably going to be stuck in the house again today. 
and so I can't sleep when all I hear is bickering and arguing over the nugget couch and ridiculous things so unfortunately I have to wake up now and probably I'm going to head out and go grab Paris and I have some coffee um I did go ahead and put on some press-ons last night and my self-tan is pretty much all developed I don't know what happened I haven't self-tanned in quite a few weeks and unfortunately today's tan is a little bit blotchy I think I don't know I only let it develop like two and a half hours so I don't know if it's like the developing time that I'm looking in the mirror right here caused it to get weird or I was sweating while it was on and developing I have some blotchiness on my arms and my knees are horrendous so I need to try and take care of that but um, today I have something super exciting planned. I'm really hoping the weather changes for the better. It literally looks like it's nighttime right now, but it is 7.50. It's just really cloudy out. Um, today I'm going wedding dress shopping with my friend Casey for her wedding that is coming up, not next year, but the year after. Um, she wants to get a head start on wedding dress shopping and she has an appointment at Kleinfeld today. So we're going into the city and going wedding dress shopping. And I'm really excited for that, but I really hope that the weather changes and it doesn't rain while we're in the city so that's my really exciting plan that i have going on for today but it is extremely early i definitely need some coffee in me i don't think i have to leave my house until 12 15 so i'm going to go get some coffee hang out with the boys downstairs help harris with them until i start getting ready i'll probably start getting ready around um maybe like 10 30. i'll show you guys the dress that i picked up what I look like when I get ready, and then of course take you guys along for a little day in the city slash wedding dress shopping with Casey. If you guys didn't know this, if your self tan is like splotchy in some areas, like on my kneecaps and on the insides of my arms, like the folds of my arms, it was a little blotchy, like I didn't completely rinse off the developing tan, um, you can use a makeup wipe. I don't know what the science behind this is that it takes the tan off, but I just like use this makeup wipe along any spot that was too dark or blotchy and like the inside of my arm there it kind of took away some of that muddiness um and then on this one knee it was super muddy and it took some of that off so if you guys self tan and you ever need to like correct a little mistake the next day like my wrist right here i should probably do um you can use a makeup wipe i just use the neutrogena ones and it works really well this weather sucks right now, but like I said, it says it's supposed to clear up. In the city, it's already clearing up. It should be done by like 10, but I hate gray, gloomy, rainy days like this. It makes me so sleepy. It makes me not motivated to get ready and get out of the house, but this coffee will definitely help. Now that pumpkin's out, I had to get pumpkin cream cold foam on my iced coffee. I mean, this weather just makes me even more excited to be done with summer and get on with fall. This is my first one of the season and I cannot wait to drink this. Okay, it is just about 10 o'clock now and I'm going to start getting ready by steaming my dress. Also, excuse my cracked mirror. These mirrors are super old. You're supposed to like put your finger in here to slide it and I never can. So one day I pushed into it like this to try and push it over and slide it and I crack the mirror, which sucks because it looks horrible and I don't really know if there's anything we could do to fix it, um, but please excuse that. Anyway, I wanna start getting ready by steaming my dress. I have my steamer heating up on my counter here and I wanted to show you guys the dress that I picked up. I actually picked this up off of Amazon and it's a dupe for I believe a for love and lemons dress. I think it's called like the Clementine dress. I actually saw some girl wearing that dress in orange on TikTok a while ago and saved the video because I thought it was so cute. And then when I was looking for a dress to wear today, I came across this one on Amazon and realized it looks exactly like it and I already tried it on and I'm obsessed with how it fits. <laughs> Please excuse the background noise of the steamer. But this is the dress here. It has a really pretty like flouncy sleeves it sits like up a little bit it gives a really cool silhouette um it has like a deep v comes in kind of like baby dollish almost where it comes in under the bust and then flares out and then the back you actually tie it like a bow so i'll show you guys what it looks like on once i'm done getting ready and i get dressed but it comes in i believe pink and yellow and black on amazon i think it was between 35 and 40 dollars i think the for love and lemons is like a hundred dollars um but the for love and lemons one you can get in a bunch more colors but if you like that dress and you want to get it on a budget um i will link both the for love and lemons and the amazon dupe one here 
um, that I picked up, but I'm really excited to wear this. I've yet to decide what shoes. I can either do the pink shoes that I wore to the wedding in San Antonio, black shoes so I can wear my green bag with it, or tan shoes and I can wear a tan bag with it. So I'll have to see what each pair of shoe looks like with the dress on. All I did the other day was try the dress on, not with shoes, um, but this is my dress for today. So I'm quickly going to steam this. And then when I'm done steaming, whoa, I need to do my makeup and then do my hair. I think, did I mention it's around 10? Um, I wanna be able to get done getting ready so I can give the boys lunch before I head out. Okay, I think that's the best I'm going to get it. I'm going to leave it hanging in here to continue to like straighten out and dry from steaming it. And now I'm gonna head into my room and start on my makeup. Like I mentioned, I already soft tanned, so I shouldn't have to do too much. I am getting like a nasty breakdown on my chin. I have no idea what's going on with my chin. It's been breaking out for weeks now, so I need to cover that. But aside from that, I probably won't do too much makeup, but we'll see. Okay, it is like a completely different day outside. It is full blue skies, sunny, no more rain, which I am very excited for, not only because we're going to the city, but for Casey to have a nice day to go wedding dress shopping. So as you can see, my makeup is basically done. All I have to do is put on lip liner and lip gloss. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. And I actually think I'm going to wear my hair up. I wore my hair up the last time we went to the city. I just feel like it's summer, it's hot. Also the sleeves of my dress are like a little bit poofy. So I think my hair up is just the best case for um, today I'm going to do my standard messy bun with my front pieces down. I wore my hair like this to the rehearsal dinner to the wedding we went to in Texas. Like I said, I wore it like this last time I went to the city. It's just a staple for me whenever I want to wear my hair up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then after this, I'm going to quickly make the boys lunch. I also need to eat something myself and then I'll get dressed and I'll show you guys my final look before we head out. I don't know if I mentioned this, we're going to Kleinfeld, which is like a dream of mine. I mean, I grew up watching Say Yes to the Dress with my grandma and my sister. So getting to go there is going to be so exciting, especially again with Casey. She's gorgeous. I cannot wait to see her wear and try on all of these different wedding dresses. And then after that, we are going out to eat. Her mom, her sister, and I are the three people she's taking today. So we're all going to go out to eat after and just have ourselves a little day. And I am so excited. Um... Not only for Casey, but to get to experience this myself. I've only ever been wedding dress shopping with my mom. So I think it's like a completely different ballgame when you go with a friend. So I'm really excited. But I need to go ahead and do my hair and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I snuck away downstairs. I just inhaled a piece of banana bread because I didn't wind up eating lunch. My hair took me so much longer than expected. And I actually don't really like how the front pieces turned out. I left out way too much hair on this side. And so I literally cut it to match this side. But I feel like they're just sitting really flat and not like framing my face good. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I mean, the bun turned out pretty good. Um, so this is my hair. This is my makeup. This is the dress. I think it is so dainty and so pretty. And I am going to wear it with these pink Steve Madden heels that I also wore to that wedding back in April. I just can't drive in them. So I need to drive in sandals and then put the heels on when I get to Casey's. But this is the final look. We need to head out. I need to head out now. I just need to get a case of water for my car and put it in the house for Harris. But I feel really pretty otherwise. I mean, I tried to curl these front pieces to begin with, which was probably a mistake because it made them all crazy. So I don't really know if I'm going to wear them like behind my ears like this or in the front. We'll kind of see how I'm feeling throughout the day. But I really need to head out now. So we'll check in with you guys in a little bit.
Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday. I know I'm wearing the same black hoodie that I've worn this entire video because I am so obsessed with this hoodie. I shared it in my last vlog and it has become my favorite comfort, comfortable hoodie to throw on. So yes, I'm wearing the same black hoodie. Do not judge me for it. We all have that one thing, that one comfort item that we wear all weekend when we have nowhere to go and nothing to do. So I did throw it back on this morning. Harris just took the boys over to his parents' house to spend the day there so that I could spend the day doing some chores and cleaning. I have the boys' comforters and pillows over there um, stripped. I have Harris and I's bed stripped. Our stuff is in the wash right now, and then I'll throw the boys' stuff in so I can get all of our beds stripped and clean for this upcoming week. But I wanted to close out today's video, and before I did so, I wanted to give you guys a little rundown on how yesterday went. My hair is looking a little crazy today. I took it out of that bun last night and brushed it out and then went to sleep on it. And it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be considering how much hairspray I had in it when it was in the bun. But I have some crazy hair today, so let's just ignore that. But yesterday was such a good day. Getting to go wedding dress shopping with Casey and being a part of that whole experience was really, really amazing. Kleinfeld is gorgeous and there are so many dresses there it was so interesting to see everyone's different taste and the different dresses that everyone was trying on and of course seeing casey's pics i did get some clips which i obviously would have inserted and you guys would have seen i'm pretty sure i'm leaving out like the two dresses that she's picking between just so she can have that special moment with those dresses of course on her wedding day whenever she decides which one she's going with. The two dresses that she is stuck between both are gorgeous dresses and either way, the dress that she picks is going to be so beautiful for her wedding. Um, but it was just such a special day to get to experience that with her. Everything, like the positivity, the weather, like the whole day was just really good and I could not stop smiling the entire day. And then of course we went out to eat after and she surprised both her sister and I with maid of honor gifts and she asked us to be her maids of honor. She's not doing bridesmaids or anything, but her sister and I will wear like the same color for the wedding, um, like different dresses, but the same color um, to be like the maids of honor for her. And I was like bawling my eyes out. It is such a special thing to be asked to do that for someone. I have never been asked to do that for someone before. And just getting to share in this experience with Casey, like I literally could cry right now talking about it because it is so special. And overall yesterday like will go down as one of my favorite memories between Casey and I until the day I die. It was such an amazing and a special day. So I'm just like still on cloud nine from how yesterday went. Like it was just such a good day. Um, I told her I feel like I almost picked my wedding dress yesterday because of how excited and happy I was and like the feelings that I was getting. Like it was just such a good day. So I'm really glad I got to vlog what I could have and also share some of it with you guys. Um, but I am going to go ahead and end today's vlog here so I can get all my chores done throughout the house while Harris is out and then of course edit this video as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.